Well, our cheap battery-powered doorbell and plug-in chime started acting crazy, so I decided it was time to join the rest of the population living in 2023 and install a Ring doorbell. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, but it is the 7th or 8th Ring product I've set up, and I'm always struck by how easy it is. The intent of this video is to show you an unbiased look at the unboxing and physical install of the doorbell and chime, along with an in-app view of the setup process. If you don't have a Ring account, it's super easy to download the app, create an account, and get started. Each product comes with a QR code that you scan from within the app and it walks you through step-by-step -step exactly how to get the device working. You can also manage multiple properties from the same account, which is nice if you want to keep an eye on aging loved ones or something like that. This particular Ring doorbell has a battery in-house and the entire unit needs to be recharged every couple of months, but can also be hardwired if you have that option. The only issues I ran into with this setup was that my camera wasn't picking up the QR code, but that was really easy to resolve by entering in the manual code. I also had to press the orange manual reset button on the back to get the ring to detect my Wi-Fi network, but besides those two little hiccups, the setup was seamless and straightforward. Last year, we outfitted my mother-in-law's house with a couple indoor wireless cameras, a doorbell, and two motion sensor floodlights with cameras, and we were able to do all of that in about four hours. And that was with zero experience on the Ring platform. For the physical install, it's very straightforward if you have some wood to screw into. Door trim often angles the camera, so Ring sells a trim kit that can help mount the doorbell accurately. But in my case, I used a piece of PVC trim to even things out and then use the supplied screws to fasten the bracket to the door frame. The doorbell then screws to the bracket with these security screws, which is kind of fun to me because everyone who has a ring doorbell now has one of these specialty screwdrivers and knows how to steal one of these off your house if they really wanted to. But since everything is tracked by QR codes, I'm not sure how successful the ring black market is and I'm not going to worry about it too much. And just like that, I can get a live view of my front door right from my phone. The chime could not be easier to install. Simply take it out of the box and connect it to your account using the QR code and follow the rest of the in-app setup steps. It is similar to the doorbell in that it connects to your Wi-Fi and with any other Ring devices in the home or on that account. It can be configured to chime when your cameras detect motion, which would be really annoying for everyday use but probably quite useful if you were out of town. It plugs directly into a wall outlet and can be customized in all sorts of other ways. Okay, well that's about it. As you can see, this was a super simple project and you can have your home outfitted with cameras in an hour or two. If you found this video helpful, give me a like and a follow for more content just like this and thanks so much for watching.